हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सॉफ्टवेयर टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट यू एन वी लिंक सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर पी सी सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू वॉट इज यू एन वी लिंक सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर पी सी वॉट आर फीचर एंड फंक्शन देन विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू देन विल टेल यू द मिनिमम सिस्टम रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दैट सॉफ्टवेयर and then we'll tell you when move your video video to practical part means how you get the file and how you configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all its features so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel so basically unv link software for pc is the software which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on pc and this software program for monitoring the cctv cameras on the computer screen it also used to monitor the cameras on remote location over the internet by using this software you are able to access live view of the camera not only the live view of the camera but you may access all its feature like you see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc you take a backup of the recorded videos you control the quality of the video recording and many more now as far as this minimum system requirement is concerned then you should have at least windows 8 10 11 or equivalent in mac os like mac catalina mojave and high sierra and if we are discussing about this processor then you should have at least core i5 processor or equivalent processor in other companies and have at least 4 gb of ram as far as hard disk is concerned you should have 50 gb of free space on your hard drive why this is too much space because this software and solution don't take too much space but when you record the live view of the camera you may want to record the snapshot of the video you may need space so now let's move over the video to practical parts means how you get this file for that you should open any browser in my case i am using chrome the scope and chrome browser and search for unv link software for pc when i do this i found the file name same as here you find the one of the favorite website just open the website and search for here i get the link of downloaded link this website tells not only not only provide you this so the softwares but it will tell you that how you install and how you configure them to make the camera live and able to access all its feature okay like each and everything is mentioned everything is mentioned is there okay so just click on the download this button just click on this it will redirect to a page where we have to wait 10 10 second once it 10 second is gone your file become ready to be download let's click download click to download and here You close the button to find that you start downloading let the down, download to be finished now the download is finished just click on this show in for folder option when you click on show in folder option it will redirect to you to a page where your file is downloaded the side click on the downloaded file and click extract when you click on extract you say you get the folder name same as the file name just open the folder and here is your installer file or application file or dot exe file the so right click on the application file and click as run as, as administrator and now just click on the next just accept 
term license agreement and click next and again click next again click installed now installing prerequisite and all its features one by one now install its prerequisite C++ 2008 distributable now it is installed now it is start installing the software now just click finish now the software is here EZ station 3.0 just open the software now to ask for a username and password just use o. just click auto login and save password when you click on auto login you don't need to insert password again and again so here you find the software interface it does have a screen relation problem so you should close the software and change the your resolutions okay let's go on the display setting and set your resolution to 1280 768 and keep changes and keep change when you do this and again now open the software Because my system has a really high resolution, but in may in your case maybe you not you don't get this, this kind of disturbance, then you do, don't need to do anything. So this is the interface of the software. Here you find a lot of a lot of options like live view, playback, video wall. As the name suggests, here you able to live view live view of the camera. Here you should playback, video wall, all that. But first thing you should do, you should click on the device management, and here you should click on the add. Okay. When you click on the add, you find the lot of options. For here you find the thing like online devices. So basically, if your device and your PC both are on the same network, on the same route, is it connected to the same router, then you should find the option add. Okay. Here you find the your device. Otherwise, you should click on this plus add button. And here you find IP domain, IP segment, easy DDNS. Basically, if you want to connect any remote locations, DVR or any liquid remote location device then you should click on easy DDNS here you should enter device name here you should enter DDNS domain and your username and password don't be confused in these all three things you should, when you log into network and go to the network option hover and go to the DDNS option over there you find DDNS and this is username and password of the device device means device you are adding it may be DVR NVR camera whatever you are adding and here you find the IP segment and here you find the IP domain. So here you can like in my case, I just use my put anything like test device because I make a video just for just for education and training purpose. But you may use like um, office cam or office device, home cam or home device, whatever you want, which you easily, easily remember. Here it asks for a user aesthetic IP. So you, you may use a local IP address or uh, static IP address it totally depend on your choice again it adds for a username and password so it is username and password of the device device means device you are adding like in my case I am adding NVR so it, I use in username and password of the, the NVR okay and just click on add here you start adding just go to the control panel let's go to the control panel to the live view and to find that your camera comes live so thanks for watching thank you once again thank you have a nice day